What is going on, guys? Welcome back to another episode of my Manchester United FIFA 18 career mode series. We're at the beginning of season two, still going through transfers and all that. Last episode, guys, you smashed over 300 likes. Can you do it once more? Really appreciate the love. Makes me really motivated to keep doing this series as much as I can. So, yeah, that will be absolutely amazing. So, Paolo Dybala is the only transfer we have made in this window. Obviously, we signed Messi and De Vrij on pre-contracts, which they are amazing signings when you think at, just of, of them as deals to be able to sign those guys on pre-contracts. The only fee is their wage you pay. And then obviously the big money spent, Paolo Dybala, $125 million, uh, which I thought that was the cheapest I could really get him because, you know, the manager had to think about the offer. So I'm really happy he can play in multiple positions uh, for the team. That's what people have maybe questioned, how they're all going to fit into the team. But they all could play multiple positions. Dybala could play attacking midfield, striker. He can even play out wide, even though it doesn't have it in his positions. His attributes suit that. That. And same with like Griezmann. We have Griezmann can do the same. A lot of our attacking players can play out wide, play through the middle, play striker as well. So that's what I like to bring into the club. So that's not as much of an issue. So guys, with Luke Shaw looking like he's going to leave, I'm going to try and see if we can sign Ryan Sessegnon from Fulham. Only 18 in the second season here. High potential. I think he's one of the highest potential English fullbacks in the game. So I think it'll be a good move for Manchester United. Yeah, bring him across. Maybe more a realistic guy to bring through in terms of a young prospect uh, to sign up. And he's been suggested before for me. So, yeah, I think it'll be my type. Uh, quick, pacey, attacking fullback. Because, guys, that's what I just was thinking in our best starting team here. Uh, that's our rotation team. I was thinking, do we leave that the same formation? I don't know. Uh, but anyway, I'm happy with... I've been really liking Rojo's work at fullback. Obviously, he can play centre-back as well, or centre-back is his main position. But he really suits a uh, fullback because uh, he can play there. That's in his positions. He's got the high defensive work rate. So he's very good as a defensive fullback and can supply us with that defensive security by staying back and not getting forward as much. And uh, with playing this more attacking 4-3-3 now, it may be even more suitable than last season to have him playing left back. Okay, we've got a message here. Oh my God, it's, <laughs> it's an offer. Griezmann. See, I'm going to consider this. I always like negotiating, so whew, that's a huge fee we could potentially get for him. It's like, yeah, we signed him on big money last season, but yeah, I just always love negotiating. The pencil. Oh, then <laughs> then I have the chance to bring in someone else, even though oh Griezmann, like, he's a great player to have. You wouldn't want to let him go to Barca, but. When you look at the potential money that we could bring in, yeah, it just excites me to freshen up the team for a new season if the deal goes through for a big amount of money. So let's see if we can get a deal done here. Going into it, I don't even know if I want to sell him or not. We're going to have to see if it'll be a good offer. Don't forget we signed him for $95 million, if I remember correctly. So if we get a profit, that'll be good and we can bring in another quality player. I want, him, I want to have money so I can bring in someone at least as good. But you may think we have done that anyway because we brought Messi on a pre-contract, then signed Dybala. So maybe Dybala was that replacement. Very similar player in the positions he can play. But then we'll get good money. I don't, let's just get into it. I don't even know. Oh, <laughs> let's negotiate this one. But yeah, don't forget we signed him for 95 mil. So we should be getting more from that um, from, from this deal anyway. So got to keep that in mind. But... Proposed new fee. What am I thinking right away? 130 million to start the negotiation? Let's see. <laughs> Imagine if this was just like straight away accepted, but I don't think it would be. I know I like to keep my initial offers high because then it paves the way to negotiate uh, to still get a pretty uh, good amount for a player. And we'll see <laughs> if that actually happens this time. Okay, 80. Oh, they want to pay less than I did, and he's a better player now. He's improved. No. And he always oh, 27, so a future sale, but like that's that's accounting on them selling him, and that could not happen. So, yeah. 100, 
and twenty. I'm not gonna go. I'm not gonna go lower than what I paid for him because yeah, the profit wouldn't be there. Hundred and twenty million. We need the big money, bar, so we've no. You've got it. No. Uh, okay, that will be more. Okay, he's not gonna play hardball. I want Griezmann on our team, but cannot afford more than. Oh, that's a pretty specific amount. Just under 100 mil, uh, 99.7. <laughs> that's crazy money, but I don't want to go below that, you know? Can we go 110? 110 for Griezmann. It's huge. And I actually don't think, yeah, that statement is true. I'm not going to go less than that because we signed him for 95, but he's a better player now. So that profit margin, yeah, won't be as much. Yeah, no, that's as high as I... That, yep. If you don't want him, if you don't want to pay that extra, what, just over 10 million more, you don't want him. You don't want him. That's as simple as that. Because I signed him for 95. But again, from my memory, he does start at an 88 overall. So he went plus one and his potential is 91. So he has room to even yeah, get to that 91 level. I know, they, we could have got about 100 mil for him, which is a lot of money, but I feel like it needed to be more than that, I think, because you saw how much we signed Dybala for to get an equal level replacement. But so we will get into the semi-finals of the Invitational Cup. We'll simulate it with our rotation side again uh, because of the World Cup duties. Hopefully, we can still get the win. Like, I'll still want to go the whole way, get as much money back. We'll see. But I don't know, yeah, what other deals we're going to make in terms of a big money signing. So, Ballerin got a red card, but Mikatarian uh, got his brace, won from the penalty, and held on to the result. But once more, we'll keep with training Turner. He's doing very well on these <laughs> five training sessions to himself. Oh, this time he gets a couple A's, and I did add that dribble possession instead of bucket up, so he get the stamina uh, there instead. I just had to be careful that I didn't... Yeah, I because you can't be training the same attribute in more than one drill. So, yeah, we've got a lot covered there. So we do get the three million for that, and uh, we'll see our injury... Seven days for Tuanza Bay, so not long term, which is okay. And too much ban for Ballerin. That's a bit annoying. But Mikatarian's had a bit of a crazy preseason competition here. Six goals, so yeah, good form. He wants to hold this spot in the team, it appears. Obviously, the pressure of Messi. Oh, trying to offer. This is exactly what I wanted for Ibrahimovic. I wanted to offer for him, oh, but his, the only bad thing is they're seeing they're going to see him as, as his contract running out because we only offer him one year extension. I should have thought about that more because I wanted yeah to get the maximum for him. So we'll probably have to like negotiate the transfer just if he was transfer listed anyway, which it was, uh, which is a bit annoying. Uh, I dislike that. Just because a player's contract running out doesn't mean we're not going to keep him, and you still got to offer what his value is. But I think we're gonna. Oh, but then it means we got to try and get in, or do we do we need to? Because we got Dybala. <laughs> uh, we'll see. It's like we might as well get money for Ibra while we can, I think. So there, guys, that's our current transfer budget, wage budget. So let's see what we can get for Zlat. And I know I'm not going to be able to negotiate this the way I want to. And I don't think this team would have a lot of money. So we're going to go to negotiate. So we'll go in. Straight away, a proposed new fee. Uh, I'll be happy if we can get this above his value because they're going to, yeah, they're going to treat it as like a bargain. They're going to try and get a guy that's old last year of his contract. They, they're trying to sneak a deal below his value. You know you know that that's the case when their first offer is below below their value, which I know uh, Zlatan's not going to be happy about that. He's going to think he's worth more, but let's say 20 mil. I told you. told you he's going to be tight. So 18.9. Propose new transfer. How about, come on, at least kind of meet us halfway, like 19 and a half. It, it will make sense because it's at his value. <laughs> Let's see. Come on, 19 and a half at his value will be fair enough. Nah, he, the, well, <laughs> we're also willing to give you 1% of Ibrahimovic's future sale. He, he's coming with the banter. He's coming with the banter. Um, I'm not sure if I try to put a slight English accent on that. 
or just how it came out. I'm not sure. Maybe a bit of both. <laughs> he puts some one percent, one percent on that. Oh, that's so funny. Like, <laughs> I'm gonna remove it, but it, oh, that that's one <laughs> percent. Oh, okay. Come on. Are we gonna? I'm not gonna get him at his value because we we offer that nineteen million. Come on. He's very strict. Come on. 19 mil. Okay, I understand you're not willing to part with Ibrahimovic that easily. We're willing to give you... Nine. Man, he's a tough negotiator. But yeah, as you can tell, he's been through a lot in his life. <laughs> so he, he wasn't going to be easy to deal with him. But I think, yeah, that was the most we were going to get for him, I think. Let me know <laughs> if you think I could have done better. But well, yeah, the ban on that guy. Yeah, definitely... Banta. You got to pronounce the T. Banta. <laughs> That's a bit better. I just got lost in the accent there. Banta. Uh. And the changes we're making here because of the injury, we've brought uh, Fosu Mensa in uh, at right back to Anza Bay injured. So, yeah, we're going to uh, make his change. We'll see. Like, <laughs> we've got a lot uh, unable for selection. And uh, yeah, Ballerin uh, with the red cards. So, we might just add in Gruben out of these younger guys. He's probably, yeah, one of the most promising. But we will go into simulate this final against Porto. Uh, I'm thinking, uh, can this team do it for us? That's what I'm wondering about. Yeah, who else are we going to bring in? Do we uh, put Ibra for a last hurrah? Potentially take out Turner. Because uh, I feel Porto, we're going to need some of uh, more quality players in the team. Okay, that looks a bit more balanced. Uh, Matic. Gomez will take out. Uh, we'll play Matic and then maybe put Keita. Keita or Herrera? Herrera doesn't have center attacking mid in his positions, but Keita does. When I'm playing, the match doesn't really make... A difference but yeah when you're simulating maybe a bit more so but yeah we don't really we don't really have others available so i think that's the best we can select the side so let's just see how we go in this game against porto their team could almost be stronger we've got some good players but the whole yeah starting 11 will be interesting Oh, oh, we just lose on penalties there. Uh, applause, well done to Porto. That'll be a massive win uh, for them, obviously. Uh, they've got some quality in their side. Obviously, the experience of Casillas. Uh, Torres is a good player as well. So, is that o Oliver Torres or is that Fernando Torres? They signed him. <laughs> Who knows? I'm guessing it would be Oliver Torres because... Or, or a different... Who knows how many Torreses there are because you don't know who they've signed. And there we go. Luke Shaw has been sold. I thought that was a decent amount. I think last episode, someone said I should have tried to get him for 50 million. It was bad that I got 33 million. I thought 33, 50 million for Luke Shaw is a bit over the top, I think. Even that was his maximum market value, but maximum for a reason. And yeah, as I thought, it was Oliver Torres. He's a good passer of the ball. I'm not sure if he'll be a signing uh, for Manchester United for us, but uh, I do like him. He's decent. He suits Porto. He'll be a good player. But yeah, I think options for us, there'd be better quality ahead of him. Ooh, transfer offer for Regan Paul. So yeah, this is a guy we're trying to sell. That's You see the offer coming there. He's transfer listed for us. Just better options. Let's try and... With these ones, we'll just delegate. Don't want to go through the whole negotiation process. And hopefully that will get done. So, yeah. That's that's not a terrible offer, actually. Because if you go back... Yeah. <laughs> Let's try and delegate. Delegate. Start the offer at... Edits. I just want to see if we... Because I want to try and get him for... 1.2 can we see we can't do that oh because if we start the offer at 1.1 yeah we okay well we'll try and get 1.2 for it the way i want it to go in my head I, I don't think i can execute like i want to start the offer at just for example 1.1 million but then try and sell them for 1.2 can you execute that like that that kind of way or not really Release clause played for Mikatar. Oh, he had a release clause? I didn't know. Just out of no... So at least, at least we know how it works, I suppose. Oh, wow. But since Bayern have activated... The, should the player decide to... He's still going to have to accept the contract? I just didn't... I didn't even realize... I thought we had no players on... 
on release clauses because I didn't notice it. We're going to have to see. Because, <laughs> yeah, every single contract I sign, like offer player a contract, uh, sign a new player, like, yeah, no one wants the contract. The re- Where do you see release clauses anyway? See, it's like hidden. We'll have to go to financial for sure. Okay. Oh, it says release clause none. See, for majority of the players, or all of them, it says none, right? None? And then Mikatarian just has one. And then I would imagine... See, no one else has release clauses. Dybala, obviously, we just sign him. Then Dernley, okay. The, that's... To me, that's very, very skeptical. We'll say it's a very, very bit fishy, like... I didn't notice him having one before. Maybe he did and I just didn't notice it. But yeah, that basically everyone else, apart from one other guy who's not really part of the first team, just a young lad. No, I'm, I can't complain because if I were to sell him, that amount is actually maybe even a bit more than I thought I would sell him. Considering his age, 29, about to hit 30, when he will start declining, maybe it's a good move. So yeah, I was a bit annoyed at first, but hey, that's good money. That's good money for a guy, I'd say, that's entering uh, his 30s. Yeah, we won't complain about that too much because in at the end of the day, it could be a good deal, but that means we do need to find a replacement. But hey, I, I love trying to find new signings. Uh, we'll train up Turner once more. Let's see what he gets. He gets a couple of A's, B, two C's. That's decent. So let's see how things go anyway. We'll see if that deal goes through for Mikatarian. Maybe something here. Okay, nothing. Really? So see, it's... As soon, as soon as I see them, that's so interesting. Like, I have a feeling there wasn't release clauses for the players before. They just got suddenly added there because those two players, they, they suddenly got offers. Because if they had re release clauses before, teams would have wanted to activate them, I'm guessing. As soon as I notice them, they, and they suddenly get snapped up just suddenly like that. Because if teams thought they were good deals before... Why isn't it just until now? I'm not exactly complaining about it. I just find it intriguing more than anything. So like, it is what it is. So, <laughs> yeah, Jesse Lingard. Alone. Uh, I, I'd want to sell him. I'd wanna, I, I don't see the, the point of loaning him out at 25. Uh, reject. If it was a transfer offer, I'd consider... Oh, England actually won the World Cup. So there you go, England fans. And Mikatarian moves on. So that's... It just very, it, it just caught me off guard. See, they can broke down. Oh, they can break down. So, yeah. that That's fair enough. So we'll keep him. And I don't mind because I don't think his potential is that high, Danley. It's probably about 80 at a maximum, I'd say. But, yeah, Mikatarian... See, that's good money, though. We get about 60 million. If I tried to negotiate it, that's probably where it would get us accepted around. So, that's all right. Uh, Sessegnon. He's only 70... See, as a future prospect, he's someone I'd like to go for. So, yeah, we'll keep that in mind. Transfer-wise, it's, it's interesting. It's interesting to think about. That's before. So everyone is back now? Yeah, because the World Cup is finished. So this is our main lineup with the 4-3-3 attack. Ibrahimovic transfer should be going through. Messi, hopefully he doesn't miss too many games before the start of the season. We'll see how he is injury-wise anyway. But yeah, that's going to make things interesting because we don't need to worry about rotations as much now. Or people are say, how are you going to fit everyone into your team? Well, after our next signing, you'll probably bring back that discussion even more. Because you think about Messi, you got that front four like that. Where does Messi go anyway? <laughs> we just sold Mkhitaryan. So how the squad looks now for me is perfect. But you consider what happens if you do get in these injuries. Because I expect to have like these injuries throughout the season. Like a Messi, how he is. I wouldn't be surprised to get another one. Maybe Griezmann will get injured. Maybe Martial, maybe Lukaku, and we need that replacement. For me, a striker replacement is essential uh, because of Ibra. To re yeah, what happens if Lukaku gets injured? <laughs> so if you take a look at it, the transfer, we got that. We can go another big guy. That Do we spend it all? And then the left-back replacement, we can just go Sessegnon for the future. And got that higher potential because Rojo, yeah, a solid performer there. I think so. But who do we go for? I might have to discover a few options. Okay, hold on. Manchester City confirm Mbappe talks. 
Oh, okay. And I kind of forgot about Mbappe because well, his his deal was a lot. He's is alone, isn't it? Like in real life. But now at Monaco, let's short. Can we go for? He's approached by Man City. <laughs> Could it be the Manchester clubs fighting for Mbappe? So City, they just have an ongoing transfer right now, so we can actually still approach him. Luckily, I saw that and I didn't sleep on it because <laughs> it hasn't he got like 94 potential? And he started 83 overall, so he only went plus one for the season, or the previous season. So I, th I had a feeling he wouldn't have had too much game time at PSG. So we can just go ahead and sign Kylian Mbappe and just imagine how good he can get as well. <laughs> this is going to be fun. This is going to be fun. Let's see. Let's see what they would request. Obviously, yeah, we'll offer a transfer fee. We're not going to we're not going to swap for him. Let's go 50 million. They'll definitely want more than that, but hey, that should be a good starting base to build up. Oh. That's all right. They just want a salon clause. Interesting. I'm going to try something, but we'll see. Proposed new transfer fee. I'll try and go 53 million without the without the salon clause, though. We'll advance. We'll put that in. Remove the salon clause. But I wouldn't be... I wouldn't... like. I feel with his potential, that's, that's a cheap price. Let's see 53 mil. And just like that. And yeah, we don't have to worry about... Oh, that's that's really good. That's really good. I'm surprised it was just th that cheap, to be honest. I thought it would be a higher amount. So let's go in, try and do the deal, negotiate. I'm not going to worry about trying to get him for so cheap as well. Like, yeah, fight on the contract. Depends. But I, I just, yeah, I'll do what I want to get him, essentially. Within reason. <laughs> so we're going to put him as... Oh, wait, where's first team? His squad role important. So, no, we'll go back and accept it, yeah? Yeah, accept important. I think, yeah, he'll do that. He'll be a good important player for us. So, we'll skip. We'll get the contract. Yeah, we'll go five-year deal. That makes sense at his age. Wants that big contract. And now, no, disregard. Definitely don't want to release cause in his contract. That's what I mean. Back to the Mkhitaryan situation. It's pretty weird how we suddenly got a, like, yeah, a release clause activated for the first time. Yeah, straight, uh, talk to the money. That's what we want to talk about. So what we will do, wage. I think it's fair to give him more than he's on already, 40K, because, again, I was surprised with the transfer being accepted. And signing bonus will go 500K. I'm, I'm thinking it's going to have to be more than that. But, yeah, that's the initial offer we'll put in. Okay, and see, it won't, be, it won't be too much more. See, I thought with the potential in him, like, this is a bargain, so I'm only going to counter this uh, like <laughs> like such a little bit here. Let's go to edit wage and signing bonus. We'll let's try. I wouldn't mind just giving him like a flat 45k, so actually increasing it a bit more, but decrease the signing bonus maybe down to 350. And then with the bonus for 10 goals, let's drop that down to 600 when he does achieve that. Let's see, because I did increase the wage up to 45. So let's see. Okay. Yeah, he just wants to go with that. And to me, that's that's well worth it anyway. So we'll just go what he's... Because that's very cheap. Yeah. Wow. I, I'm very surprised. Let me know. He's supposed to have 94 potential. Potential to be the best player in the game. Because by then, Ronaldo Messi either retired or declined a lot. So, yeah, there's the other. That could be Asensio. See, to me, Asensio, I guess he's a bit better right now. But I think Mbappe has the potential to be better than... Uh, Essencio will. Whew, that might <laughs> uh, that might uh, kind of erupt in the comments. <laughs> but they're different players. They're different positions. So I wouldn't compare them. <laughs> so how good does that look? Oh, he's a he hasn't even played a match. It looks like he has. He's like clapping, like he's played a good game or something, applauding the fans. Oh, Manchester City. <laughs> how funny does that? Manchester City confirmed talks. Uh, but he's in a United, sir. You're too late, City. Well, they made the offer first, and we kind of hijacked the deal. And look at look how good that look the players there. It's Mbappe. Wait, Mbappe, De Gea, Messi, Pogba, and Dybala. 
Far oh, man, that's jizz worthy. And we just say, look, at, look how good our money. Look how good our money looks right now. And like 70, I don't think we need to go for someone else. So we'll sort out the player numbers as well. We'll do that before the season starts. But I'm like, who else do we need? Because we've got money there. So Mbappe, we'll just promote him a bit. We'll drop someone else more down. Gomez and Mbappe. to Because Ibra, I'm imagining he'll be leaving. So Rashford and Mbappe can... Okay, he just has striker in his position. And he maybe... But I think he can still do well out wide. Cut in. He's got four-star weak foot. I feel he could play both wings because he's got the attributes. But I think we'll say, yeah, Rashford is more the winger type. And then Mbappe will be the rotation for Lukaku. He won't be too far away from yeah, gaining on Lukaku as well. So, yeah, just looking at that team, who like we've got the money to make another signing. Like, to me, like, realistic or not, out the window is right now. Like, yeah, that's out the window right now. But, yeah, in terms of improving the team, where where do we need that? Or do, or do we just go for a better left back? Do we go huge on the left back instead of Sessegnon? Guys, I absolutely love David Alaba. He can play multiple positions as well. That's I signed him last season, but it's the fact, or last year, like in FIFA 17. That's because he's the best option for a left back to go for when you've got the money. Like, there's some others, like there's Alexandro, but he's even, he, he's like one of the youngest and still the best. So I'm going to put him on the short list and I just, right now I'm fighting in my head. Should I go for the best option or should I not? Because unrealistic. That's that's what I'm fighting with right now. Like, do I stick to my guns or or go for that? So I've just got him in the short list. So I'm going to continue while I, <laughs> I just uh, ponder it in my head. Do I just go for him? We'll see. And there we go. Ibra is sold. So that's going to add more money to the budgets. And just more reason to actually use it. Because what's that going to be now? Oh my god, it's almost... We're going to have to adjust it a little bit a little bit more, I say. It just, yeah, go over 200. So, but yeah, basically we have 90 million right now. So, I think we have the money to splash on a big guy. Because I think with the transfers, we've been... We've been battled. We haven't completely splashed without selling. So, for example... If we sort the ones, okay, two man, can we go to two Manchester United and oh, it'll be good if we can sort that way. But anyway, we'll go back to us. So we've sold Mkhitaryan uh, and we've sold Luke Shaw. We've sold Ibrahimovic and then we brought in Mbappe and we brought in Dybala. So, and then of course, you know, Messi and then De Vrij, they were the pre-contract. So I've, I still feel we have one more big signing in us. You can see that with the transfer budget. Let's just see how the rest of this month plays out. We've got what? Yeah, we can do. Let's pause it. <laughs> I want to do as many training. And Regan Poole. See? I put it. That That's fair enough. I don't really mind. He's a younger guy. Someone who might end up like selling or sending out on loan anyway. So, yeah, we'll leave that. Turner. And, yeah, let me know how long we should keep training Turner up like this. But, yeah, he's he's looking good to become a great player for us. So I'm, I'm happy, and can, but I, I, I got to keep in mind other players we have in the team, of course. So just head into the start of the new month now. Uh, we should get like a youth report back. There we go. The scout has returned. This is with Scout a Future Star as well. Can it be someone decent? I, I, well, yeah, I wonder who it's going to be. We'll see our updates of these players. Ed Wilson, Taylor Hall. Yeah, they're all looking good. Can it be? They're shit. They, they've made them worse. Like, this is not worth a sign-up. Overall crap, maximum potential and minimum it, compared to... It, they're not worth it. Like, I get better plays from my actual scouts. What, uh, it's just... It's very disappointing. Like, have they actually made them worse? Like, scout the future stars? Because maybe they want to do that because... Like, to make it harder. And it, say if you're doing a road to glory with a League 2 team and not to get absolute superstars. But when you are a big team, you should get better. Like, the first two have been crap. Like, these first two seasons. Nah. It just, it's disappointing. I'm not going to be too mad because we've got all these other good players and then good young players ourselves. So, they're future stars themselves. So, I'm not... Yeah, I, I don't really care. And, yeah, youth... Squad report, uh, that's going to be the same what we do. Wait, Nazari Pen Pizzella? He wasn't... He was. That wasn't even his name. That, what? His name wasn't uh, Nazarino. Nazarino Pizzella. It was something else. 
it doesn't matter now because it was shit. <laughs> So continuing now, what do, yeah, I'm still, yeah, mulling over, tra oh yeah, a monthly scouting update, we would have got two of those, yeah, because we did them on the second, so, me no, that's, uh, some are just, <laughs> you know, I don't want to sell them, Mensa, he's a guy you want to see, like, given a chance, and that's the same for me, I want to use him, so we're just going to, yeah, flat out reject that for sure. Uh, we'll delete, so hopefully, and I think the odds of, like, sending scouts out on the same day, like you get two back on the same day, one of them should be decent. So from Australia, uh, I didn't really think this through because the Australian ones are probably like less likely because I think they, they make it like that. Like, so there's not all superstars coming out of Australia and other countries, uh, but anyone else, Dominic Mitchell, like Billy Turner, Sean Lee and Jonathan Shaw. But I think the, the scout reports are realistic, let's say. Like, I, I will say players coming out of Australia. But we will get into the English one, and there should be... Yeah, there we go. Yeah, Morgan Turner, minimum of 76. And then hey, there's two. There's two quality guys. There's Alfie Allen, AA. So, yeah, we wouldn't want him in the team. <laughs> and Joel Evans. The the other two, I would say, are both sign-ups with a minimum potential. Morgan Turner seems to be better. He's a goalkeeper. Like, his minimum overall is 53. So, he looks... Even if they have the same potential... Obviously, yeah, they're different type of players. But we'll sign them both up. Potential looks good for now. But yeah, guys, I think I'm just going to leave it there. You know we've got the money. And you know I've considered Alaba. Do we go Alaba? Do we go a different left back? But I love Alaba because he can, he can play multiple positions. And that helps. It helps for those reasons of a player who... When we have a big squad or we have a lot of good players in the squad, we have a reason to use him. Or, yeah, a reason to to have him in the team because he can play multiple multiple positions. As you can see, left back, center back, and center mid just can fit into multiple areas. So let me know if you should splash the cash. I'll see how many comments are don't sign him. I'll see how many comments are yes, sign Alaba. Uh, let me know either way. If those of you guys want me to go for the best option, make the team as best as I can. Let me know if that will be the case. But yeah, we'll leave it there for now. Hopefully you enjoyed the video and I'll see you guys next time.